God, we appreciate you. God, we do love you. We thank you for today. God, we thank you for all your blessings and thank you for life and breath and thank you for the spirit of prayer. God, we love you and we thank you. Almighty God. Jesus, somebody wrote a song that you've been good to me. God, you've been good to me, Lord. No doubt ever who wrote that song, you was good to them. And I just want to thank you for your spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for your spirit that makes intercessory when we pray. Oh, God, I just... I owe you so much. God, I've owed you my life. You gave me my life right here. Somewhere not far from here. Jesus. Oh, God. God, I thank you for blessing me. Let me come in this area. Jesus. Oh, Lord, you're a good God. You're a big God. You can hold the water of the earth in the hollow of your hand, but yet you're so little till you can get in our hearts. Christ in us, a hope of glory. Oh, Lord, I thank you. And I come to you, Lord, for th these needs. God, there's probably 800 needs, Lord, here. Maybe a thousand. God, I've read out of one of them and I could make out. God, I can't read writing too good, Jesus, but those it was printed and I just sort of had to guess at the others because I can't read writing. But Lord, I'm asking you to answer them. You can read all kinds of languages. and Lord, some of the languages, Lord, don't even have letters no more. They just make dots and cross this and that, Lord. India and some of these places that we've carried your word. God, they understand it, but and I thank you that you're a good God. You're a good God. Nobody can feel your shoes. Jesus. The water, the, your word said you could hold the water of the whole world in the hollow of your hand and I believe it. Lord, I believe it. I traveled over that them seas 10,000 miles this one direction. Nothing beneath as I looked at that window but sea. God, thank you, Lord. Sometimes there's a little old island out there we had to land and get fuel. But God, you're so good. God, you're so good. We come to you, Lord, and ask you to bless these two days is to follow today and on Saturday. Lord, I sought you this evening, Jesus. God, praying that you would give everybody a fresh anointing. In it. God, in Jesus' name, that's what's kept me going. God, is keep crying out to you. I need a fresh anointing. I read it in the Bible. God, and I'm asking you, God, to answer these needs. Oh, God. Lord, I thank you for the burden I've had this evening for our country. God, in the name of Jesus, please, Lord, give us another Holy Ghost revival like you did in the middle in early parts of the 20th century. God, Lord, you're still that same God. Lord, as we've begun that 20th century, 100 years, Lord, all that outpouring on Azusa, Jesus, and other parts of the world, America, where people was praying, I started speaking in other language and didn't know what it was. Scared some of them. According to history, 
But God, you're still that same God. That's what happened. The first outpouring of the Holy Ghost. As you went back to the Father, prayed to the Father that, you, that He would send back the Comforter, which was the Holy Ghost. When He came, He came like a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Again, they speak in other tongues. As the Spirit give them utterance, and I thank you for those scriptures. Got all these modern day churches and religions and what people believe don't change nothing. God, your word was forever settled before you sent your son down here. Ever settled in heaven. I am the Lord, you said, as you ended the Old Testament before you sent Jesus the New Testament down here. I am the Lord, God, and I change is not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob, all different religions, you're not consumed. God, we got you. We are you are real. And I come to you for help tonight. Divine help. God, there's probably eight or nine hundred requests, and probably some of them's doubled, and people write them again and again. But Lord, Jesus, you are God of answer. You are God of answer. And I'm coming to you. Besieging you, begging you to answer these needs. And those that's been here, some of them said they had to go back to their homes somewhere around here, somewhere, Lord. And some of them, Birmingham. But God, everywhere they are, you let them be blessed. And those that are here, and those in this area, God, I thank you for letting me come back, God, if you, to this area. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, Jesus. Mighty, mighty, mighty God. We believe and behold you with everything that's in our hearts. If you've got a need after I raise your hand. And Jesus said, if you can believe... All things are possible to them that believe. God, right now, I believe it. God, if an airplane can fly, fly with one wing, one motor fell into the ocean, God, with 300 people on it, me on it, did not crash. God, because you kept it up there. Lord Jesus, you kept it up there. God, you ain't never lost a battle. Lord, people want to put you on their level, but you'll never be on their level. Glory. They may teach all kinds of junk and downgrade the Bible and twist the Scriptures. But God, the Scriptures was forever settled before mankind ever was thought of. And all these people are trying to twist the scriptures that don't mean a hill of beans. Because what you wrote by them holy men of God, God can't be changed. Almighty God, I praise you. I give you thanks. I give you patolo, motorito, nanda, dan sencha ba hashos hushiha. I give you praise. I magnify your name. It was by your blood that I was saved. By your stripes that I was healed. Oh God. Oh God. God, I think can answer these needs. God, don't let a one of these needs be unanswered. 
And we'll always praise you, Lord. God, we'll always praise you. We'll always praise you. We'll always praise you. Everybody lift your hand up and just let the God right now think of what you need God to do in your life and just lift your hands up and just agree with the Holy Ghost. He's in our midst. Just agree. The Holy Ghost makes intercessory for the saints. The Bible said, lift them hands up right now. Father, you see them hands. God, you said the Lord will provide. Lord, they said we got this, we got that, but you said the Lord will provide. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I said, we got everything but to sacrifice. <laughs> but you said, the Lord will provide. Hallelujah. God, they got to the top of that mountain. As a ram was hung in the bushes. God, Abraham was going to offer up his boy. But God, you said, he said, the Lord will provide. But he did not know sacrifice. Oh, hallelujah, you still that God of Abraham. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I call upon your name tonight to send revival in this area, to captivate our hearts and our lives and our souls. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Send a fire. Send a flame and fire of the Holy Ghost. Baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire through this part of the country. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Come on and praise the Lord. Come on and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Until I heard from heaven and I started fasting and I prayed and I fasted. I weighed down about 70, 80 pounds. Weighed 190 and 200 pounds when that started. And I wasn't preaching. I just went and locked myself up in an old part of the time in a barn and part of the time in an old house. And I got down to death, I guess. And he came a little old bed. And I reached out to him, thought he was taking me to heaven. Instead he put his hands in my hands like that on both sides and said, Behold the Lamb of God. Never heard nobody all of my life. Never heard nobody preach about it. Behold the Lamb of God. Never preached it myself. Behold the Lamb of God. Turn all of your faith and your confidence yeah. upon me. And acknowledge me in all of your ways. Church of God and assemblies and others were supporting me those days. Said, acknowledge me in all your ways and do all things in deed and in truth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he paused and he said, and that means water baptism. To and that was on the 17th of April in 67. Well, I, I put it out. I was on TV and radio all over the country. TV is on Sunday. I put it, everything, churches, all the, what you call the Trinity kind of churches closed on me. I preached in Beaumont, the biggest tent in the world. The Assemblies of God and the Church of God been supporting me. They, they came out, they couldn't keep the miracle, but they wouldn't give. Went to Houston, done me the same thing. Went to Baton Rouge, Jimmy Swaggart, told his people he was a pastor at that time down there. I preached for him in his church. He had a big church before all that happened. He got up and told his people. I don't want none of the people. He run about 1,500 to 2,000 to go out there, but we still had the crowds. 
went on to Beaumont, from Baton Rouge to Beaumont in the Houston. Got up in Houston at a big church I'd preached in since I was a boy. And went out there and told the people. And that pastor, they took me off for a big offering for, said all, told them, acknowledged. And I went back in that little room and, I mean, God moved and healed and opened their fears. He's always done, he's done that since I started out. The Lord told me that'd be a sign of me, the death. I prayed for 400 in one day and every one of them was here. 200 of them, one at the time and 200 of them in mass. And every one of them had, started, had to teach them languages. I went to Talladega, Alabama. I mean, no, I don't guess I'll rest there like that. A deaf mute screw down. Went down on myself to the deaf mute screw down there and prayed for every one of the kids. And God opened every one of my ears. The Lord, that's what the Lord commissioned me when He spoke to me in 1956 and put me in His ministry. Said, "This will be a sign that I'm with you. The deaf will hear and the dumb will talk." Yeah. And it's never failed. And. So the church is all turned and they uh, took me a good offer and when I told them that pastor got up after I left that room there in Houston said don't y'all believe nothing said David Terrell is of the devil the devil's deceived him and what about him in the name of Jesus is wrong Jesus didn't tell us to be baptized no how in the name of titles. He said in the name. Father is not a name. That's a son is not a name. Holy Ghost is a spirit. Actually, uh, nobody should never be the Catholic Church who wants to start that whole thing in 1600. I talked to a Catholic priest today and shook his hand and felt to. I mean, I've, I've prayed. I, I went to uh, over in the Italy, in Rome, and three other cities in Italy and preached to thousands, and the popes sent me to come to there and pray for them. Back in those days, 20 and 25, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, after the Lord appeared to me. And I've had popes to tell me, you got this thing right. Catholic Church the one got this thing off. They want to start the whole thing. And, and but you can't uh, and, and everybody up to the Catholic Church that did get baptized got baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and, and if you ain't crazy you know Father is not a name how can you baptize anybody in the name of the Son if you don't know who the Son is Amen. and how in the world can you baptize anybody in the name of the Holy Ghost when that's the Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost is the Spirit it ain't got no name that's the Spirit so when God said, baptize him in the name, he's talking about Jesus. For everything God is, he is in Christ. God is in Christ, working miracles. Holy Ghost is in Christ. Well, I'm starting a storm here. I mean, that's, anybody with a Billy Goat sense should know that. But anyway, it's that. So they cut me off. I went back and took that offer and gave it back to that pastor when he said I was of the devil. And I got through giving him, I had $2.50. I had five bucks. I got a little room for two fifty, dollars which is hardly a nothing room. And took a bath and shower and a Assembly God preacher, missionary that I've been supporting all over South America. Me and him worked together and he was there. And, and they had to pick me up because I flew in there and that pastor wouldn't even take me back 20 miles from that little old motel I rented over there. But that similar God preacher, he, he did. I told him, I said, he didn't let him know I didn't have a five bucks left. I said, if you take me out and get something to eat, because I'd just come off a long fair and I'd eat a few times. I said, I'll buy you one, but couldn't buy him a meal. I said, I'll buy you one of the big old cheeseburgers. <laughs> Double decker, you get one for 60 or 70 cents, you know. <laughs> so, bless his heart, he never did know. I know the guy would have 
bought me a plane ticket. So, we had a nice time because I've been supporting him, continue to support him, work with him all through South America after that. And uh, when, when he left, I had two dimes and a penny after paying for our little meal and pay for that two dollar and a half as I that two dollar and fifty cent. Yeah. And so uh, I got out there the next morning early. They just put that Interstate 10 through there coming out of Houston, come back up. Got on that and I, I'd get a little short ride. You know? I mean, if I didn't get but two miles, I'd take it. As long as it was headed back towards uh, Alabama, where I might have been, where could have been out of Texas and I don't remember, been in so many places. But anyway, it was headed back to where I was going. And so, took me, took me uh, all day. to get the back room. Well, I went out and laid down in some uh, grass and went to sleep beside the road there. Got up the next morning close to a restaurant. Laid down, went to sleep. Got up early the next morning and uh, some. they just opened the beer joint just about 9 o'clock or something like that. that. That's when they started all that free beer. You know, that, all them joints could open up. And I stand, they pulled over, saw me that guitar and Bible and they pulled over and said uh, where are you going? I said well I'm trying to get to Chattanooga, Tennessee and I said that's where I'm going Chattanooga, Tennessee he said do you drive? I said yes sir he said you got driver's license I pulled him out and showed it to him thank you Jesus glory And I thought they was going there too. So I just bailed out. So if you need any gas, money's right here. So I'd buy even money. If I bought ten dollar beef, I said even money. Well we got over there, stopped and I was filling up again at a shell station there in Birmingham. And they all sobered up. Before they did, there was a guy that before he got so drunk. He was riding up there with me, and I was talking about, I just got baptized in Jesus' name, you know, and uh, before he got drunk. He said, my mom was baptized like that. And uh, they all got drunk as a cooter brown, you know. And they got sobered up, and that man, he, I got on that uh, stirring wheels, headed on up Chattanooga, and he, he the owner of the, the suburban there, what he was, he got me right there and he drove back his fist and gonna hit me right in the nose. And that other guy, you ain't hitting him. Said ain't nobody gonna hit nobody that's been baptized like my mama. He been baptized in Jesus' name. <laughs> well, I'm so happy. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I pulled a switch out, key out, and got my guitar and Bible and little you know, case I had my clothes in and I had it back. So they left and turned around and went back and I didn't get hit in the nose and I had one dime left. And there was a preacher there in Birmingham I knew. I thought, well, I'll call him. He'll, his name was Clint Lane. I thought I'll call him. He'll pick me up and take me on to Chattanooga. Well, I had that one dime. And that's back when Bell Telephone. And that's what it cost to make a, 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 a phone call. So I, I knew his phone call. I'd, uh, him and I had traveled together preaching. And I looked and there was a stop sign there. And somebody kept looking over and he jumped out, out of the car on that stop sign, run over and said, Brother Terry, it was him, is that preacher? He said, Brother Terry, is this you? I said, who else do you think it is? Yes, it's me. He said, what are you doing? I said, I'm trying to call you. Maybe you could take me on Chattanooga. I said, I've been on the road three days and slept. He said, you got a dime? I said, I'll call General Motors. That's where he worked. 
And I gave him my last dime to call General Motors. And I went, and he had me lay on the day bed while he fixed me something to eat and shaved him three days. I went in there and shaved and took a bath and everything. And about 10, 11, he woke me up and fixed me a good breakfast and carried me on up to Chattanooga until I had a minister's meeting. I had 400 preachers that I was going to minister to that night before that Chattanooga meeting was uh, to start the next day. So, the, the Lord spoke. I had that sort of lean over on the door of the window and I went into a vision. You know, look out mountain starts in Birmingham and goes all the way to Nashville. Whether you know that or not. And that's the way we was traveling time, nigga. We was traveling and I, I went into a vision and a voice spoke to me. I heard it in my right ear. It said, you have proved to me that you're not going to compromise my name and my word said from hereafter I'm going to bless you I'm going to help you get this gospel of Jesus he said you're right on water baptism whether anybody likes that or not if you, if you know anything father is a title son's a title and the Holy Ghost is God's spirit the great whore 1600 was the one that messed up people in baptism. That's the Catholic Church, whether you like it or not. And I don't care. I mean, if you want to go to hell, you go to hell. Bible said, repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus, not no father, not no son. Son, God figured we had enough sense to know Son is a, got to have a name and the Holy Ghost is a spirit and Father is, is, is a title. It don't make no difference to me. Thank the Lord. And the Lord said, when you get to Chattanooga, I'm going to help you get this gospel of Jesus to the whole world. I went to them 400 preachers and told them, and every one of them, I baptized them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Meeting broke out. I walked out to the stage. We had the biggest tent in the world up in Chattanooga. I walked out, and most of them I'm over here. But I walked out. For some reason, I stood on this side. I was $30,000 behind on TV, and that's one of $1,000 or like $10,000 now. Yes, sir. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Amen. On my TV and my radio. I walked out. And I started crying. We had such a crowd. That place where Jim Packney's had put up 1,500 to two. Didn't any of y'all go to that meeting? Now, you know I'm telling the truth. Huh? Behind Willie's Supermarket on Rossville Behind Boulevard. Behind Willie's Supermarket. Y'all know what I'm telling you. We was there every week. I stayed there five weeks, and we had thousands of cheers outside. These people was there. Thank you. I'm not lying. People came down. And I was standing over here and they started giving money. You was a little That money came up higher than a... We had a 50-gallon drum back here to put trash in. But the meeting hadn't started. They, they stacked money and stacked money. I'd never seen a $500 bill. I'd never seen a $1,000 bill in my life. I'd seen a $100 bill and a $50 bill. I'd never seen a thousand. We had over... We had... Uh, over ten thousand dollars in thousand dollar bills and hundred dollar bills. When they they took twelve men to count that offering all night long. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. And since that time, God has helped me to reach two hundred countries with this Jesus message. Hallelujah. I said with this Jesus message. Uh, all the Bible will but Jesus said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life, and we got to get his message. The gospel is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. I don't harp on all this, but I do preach this word. And God, God, he'll test you. That's what's wrong with we can't go through the fire. 
I said, we can't go through the fire. Not only that, I didn't have my automobile. Someone right there in that Chattanooga bought me a brand new automobile. Thank you, Jesus. Bought me a brand new automobile. Got to Birmingham. Somebody didn't know. Somebody else bought me another brand new automobile. I had one to leave it. I had one to travel. Hallelujah. You know why? A man called Jesus came to my bed while I was dying and touched me in the palms of my hands and said, Behold the Lamb of God. Put all your faith, all your attention. Acknowledge him in all your ways. Do all things in deed and in truth in my name. Paul and said that means water baptism too. And you'll preach this gospel. Stay with this gospel of Jesus and you'll preach it to the world. We like 37 countries now. Hallelujah. To reach an every country on the face of the earth and the people working and trying to uh, now well, I can get back to those countries. There's a, we need Jesus, folk. Jesus is the same yesterday, Hebrews 13 said, and today and forever. I don't know why we can't say Jesus. I don't know why we can't say Holy Ghost. Three times Holy Spirit is mentioned in the Bible. Why can't we say Holy Ghost when it says Holy Ghost? Now the new Bible is coming out and none of them's got Holy Ghost in it. His Holy Spirit, even the King James new Bible, they ain't got Holy Ghost. But but when it says Holy Ghost, I'm going to say Holy Ghost. I said, I'm going to say Holy Ghost. I'm going to say Holy Ghost. I'm going to say Holy Ghost. He said, baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. I said, the Holy Ghost. I said, the Holy Ghost. I said, the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. I won't tell you. It's dangerous food this year. King James Bible that I'm talking about goes back to when it first came out 400 years ago. Amen. I know English has improved, but it's still the same word, you know. That's the only thing. They ain't changed nothing. Now you, I don't know if they're going to keep selling the original King James or not. But I'm telling you one thing, when it says Holy Ghost, I'm going to say Holy Ghost. And I think I can prove that right now if you say Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost, there's a difference. Put your hand on your throat. Say Holy Spirit. Now say Holy Ghost. See how your Adam's apple jump? It'll jump every time. I don't care. If you got the crew, you say Holy Ghost, that old throw the jump on it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo! Glory. I said glory. I said glory. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due season or due times. Cast all your cares upon him. Thank you, Jesus. I said, thank you, Jesus. Glory. Glory. Who his own self in chapter 2, 24, is the 1st Peter. Who his own self by our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live to righteousness by whose stripes you or ye or you were healed. For you are as sheep gone astray, but are now returned to the shepherd and bishops of your soul. Thank you, Jesus. Bishops of your soul. Thank God. God's got a miracle for you. I said, God's got a miracle for you. Thank you, Lord. But you're feeling better, aren't you? That's here back there in the white. Yeah. Thank God. God really gave her a miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Man, I tell you. You see a difference. I tell you. You know, the devil will try to kill you. Thank God. Right here in this meeting, God gave her a miracle. 
Thank you, God. Let's praise God. I remember her was in critical, needed a miracle right here. Let's praise God. I said, let's praise God. God wants to give you a miracle. God wants to give you a healing. I'm going to tell you right now, Jesus Christ, there's, there's nothing too hard for him. One thing about him, if you'll come humble before him, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No man can come to the Father except but by me. And, and, and you know, there's too many people. I don't know why people want to leave Jesus out of everything. Everything I do, Jesus seemed like to be in it myself. I mean, I don't know. Since when he touched my hands in and, and, and 67 and gave me this message, when, when he, he stood at my feet, and when he got through, do all things in deed and in truth in the name of the, Jesus Christ, and he paused, and he said, that means water baptism, too. And he said, you will preach this gospel to all the world. At that time, I'd never been in but about 35 countries. But since then, we have like about, about 35, uh, maybe less, of reaching every country in the world. The, 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 they got me down to 35, but it don't make no difference. Somehow or another, I'm going to get to the rest of these countries. You know why? I'm not taking just a bunch of rhetoric. I'm taking Jesus. I don't care, folks. God gave me a song, and all these songs that I sang, uh, God gave them to me. I'm a Jesus man. I said, Lord, what? I don't know what I am no more. When I come into this, man, I was raised after Mama, uh, my dad was holding us. When I got saved in 10 months, I was in the church of God. And then the assemblies offered me a better deal for evangelism. I joined the assemblies, and then the, the both of them split. So I become half assembly and half church of God because I was an evangelist. And everywhere I went, and there were churches, the churches took on 100, 200, 300 members. Because I didn't go in there but doing nothing but preaching Jesus. Because I feel like all this doctrine belongs to the pastors. You know, too many people uh, that they uh, uh, harp on this and harp on that, but we need the gospel. You hear what I'm telling? How many know we need the gospel? Glory. But when they found out that I got baptized in Jesus' name, but now uh, I, I get reports uh, right now. You know who supports us overseas? Mostly uh, Assemblies of God and Church of God uh, people in these countries uh, support us. Oh, you know why? They know I'm not coming in there trying to uh, preach against their doctrine. I'm coming in there tell them about a man that stood at my feet. Thank God. Glory. And and touched me in the palms of my hands and said, put your faith in me. Put your teachings upon me. That's all I'm trying to get anybody to do is to believe in our Lord. Yeah. I mean, you could get in all the, you could get it baptized. My Lord told me, he said, tell them they can be baptized in every mud hole that ever tadpole in every part of the world knows who they are. If they don't come through the door, it don't make nothing. Jesus said, I'm the door. I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the light. Nobody can come to my Father. Uh, I don't care if there's a dozen fathers. There ain't nobody come to the Father except through Jesus. Jesus said that himself. He said, I am my Father one. I'm the door. If you want to get to my God, you want to get to my Father, you got to come through that door. And if you climb up any other way, you're a thief and you're a robber. And that ain't nothing to be argued about. This ain't all. This is the gospel. And this is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said, this gospel of the kingdom. I know you pastors and preachers, you got to pr teach pr folks straight as you gate. No, you got to get in there and teach them. You know, people need to know that women need to wear dresses and men need to, you know. Uh, I tell you, this is wrong as man wear a priority of shorts as it in woman's. Man, I'm tell you, I, I tell you, I mean, I don't look at women. I, I mean, I, my, my wife's the only thing I see. But I tell you, if these men could see some of them old bow ugly legs, well, them hairs up there, run around in monkey shorts, they'd get them all. Man, they look like, they look like something. 
Mm. <laughs> Somebody asked me a while back, I said, what do you think about uh, a woman wearing sh shorts? Was anything any worse than a woman wearing shorts? I said, well, I said, a man would have power on. They look worse than ever. <laughs> well, let's run on. But it's the truth. Jesus Christ come to save the world. He didn't come to condemn the world. And you get God. When God came into my heart and I received the Holy Ghost, you know how kids are? Running around without their shirt. Immediately the Lord convicted me of running around without my shirt. And no preacher had to tell me. I went to my Baptist preacher brother. And he was working in his garden without his shirt. And I went up there to him. And I now have mine on. He, I, he lived just a, a block or so up above him. This is where I first started out in his healing. I went up there because I, he, he, his wife, she used to be a Pentecostal holder. And, and she uh, and she get around me and said, don't you follow your brother. I said, God don't want you. I said, I, uh, the miracle you had, she was there when God gave me that miracle and everything. And she said, God don't want you to be like your brother. He wants you to know Baptist preacher. She said, I should be in the Pentecostal church. But said, when I married him, I had to either make a choice of him or the church. But she still believed in holiness. She said, you stick to holiness. Thank you, Jesus. But anyway, I asked my brother. I went to him. He's, he was a good man. Died a good. I went and prayed with him on his deathbed, you know. I, I chartered a plane, went in there, and, and he, he sent for me. And, and he apologized to me on his deathbed. He, he lived to be nearly 100 years old. He was one of my oldest brothers. And he apologized. He said, you know, I should have never tried to influence you. He said, I've been following you. You know, he sat in my meetings and saw uh, uh, the blind. He, he, one, of his, uh, uh, one of his church members had a little girl that was all twisted and crippled. And he sat, and I was in the biggest auditorium there where he lived. And he asked me would I pray. He went and brought that little girl to that meeting the next day. And he sat right there and brought her up. God straightened him legs out. And I know he done it for my brother, but for her. And God untwisted them arms. And my brother never seen him in my life. And he sat there and watched that little girl. Never walked in her life. Came out with her leg, normal legs, about 11 to 12 years old, that went to his church. He lifted his hands up and praised God. Come up and hug my neck. I never saw him no more till his deathbed after that because we had so many meetings broke out. And I, I, was, I, was, I had that one big meeting in Newton, Georgia. That's where he lived. And I went. But I went and I flew in to see him on his deathbed. He said, David, said you was right all along. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm so glad that I didn't influence you. When I left, the doctors come in and announced him dead. But don't you know, he said, I, I thank you that, that you stood with what you stood. Folks, you cannot let your people come between you and God. You cannot let your neighbors. If a preacher don't preach the truth, you don't need to stand under him. You hear what I'm telling you? I'm, it's, it, the Bible is not changed. You don't have to take it and condemn folk, but we need to just to read the Bible. Anybody read the Bible? It, it's got doctrine in it. It's got truth, but one way, one faith, one Lord, one baptism, one doctrine. God ain't going to compromise with me. He ain't going to compromise with you. I'm going to tell you something. I have a fear for some of these women that's trying to take authority over the man, always bossing the man. That's, it's absolutely in the Bible that the woman ain't supposed to do that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we'll hush up, but it's the truth. Glory. I mean, God ain't going to change that. I believe God is pouring out His Spirit on all flesh, handmaids and servants, but He's not going to change His Word that the woman should be the overseer and self-authority. It's written, and you cannot take it out. And somewhere or another, if you're one of them kind that wants to boss 
and tell your man, your husband, what to do. Somewhere or another, you, you'll face it. He may go ahead to, because he loves you and wants to get along with you. Wants once in a while to sleep with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. He, he may not say nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm telling you? <laughs> Glory. You know, and just let you be the boss. <laughs> well, it's the truth. But I'm going to stand up for the truth regardless. I ain't compromising. Do you know what I'm telling you? Jesus said he's the way. He don't suffer the woman to tell what the man what to do. That's why the church is messed up. Not to read the whole uh, world. God can't step in you like he did when I came into holiness. And like uh, Aaron Roberts came out of that uh, wells and out of that and went in there and started preaching that. Back then, people believed nothing but the Bible. Zusa, when that Zusa street broke out, I told the Holy Ghost and up yonder uh, on the border of Canada, another place and then another place up. Uh, northern Chicago revival broke out in Houston Texas was another place and Beaumont Texas was another place where the Holy Ghost was poured out while he was pouring out on Azusa that revival God set that revival through just Baptist and Methodist people crying out praying hungry for God they didn't really know what they were seeking for down even in Sweet Port Lou there's a group down there and that all happened there in a period of a month everywhere were folks was hungry for God if we'll forget all this stuff and get back in here and start bombarding the heavens and quit trying to boss and quit trying to take lead. Let God be the leader. Let the Holy Ghost manifest itself. Let Jesus Christ be the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. I didn't write the Bible. I might have left it out. <laughs> said he won't suffer the, the woman to take authority over the man. It's written in there. You can't take that out. It's Bible. But the Bible said, husband, love your wives. And of course, I put terror to and for and not your neighbors. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Praise God. That's a terror two sixteen or something in that, but anyway. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. It's a Bible. God is coming back for a church. Something's fixing to happen. There's fixing to be something turned loose. The church ain't ready to go nowhere. Folks hollering rapture. They think be a rapture. You forget about the rapture. I told people they are, you know, Jimmy Swaggered and and uh uh, that uh, uh, guy that used to be, he died. You know, I was up in Oklahoma and I said uh, that uh, y'all might have been there. I said, the time I get to the border, what's his name? That uh, that guy that's over. Watch Paul Crouch. I said, he be dead if I'm preaching to God. And I said, I ain't heard in him in years. I said, time sister turn across as the Texas border, Paul Crouch will be dead. And I said, he must be alive. So, Sister Charlie was coming in the van, and I always kept the station set on that Dallas station, which is 8, 10, 1080, which is a regular uh, uh, AM. And you could reach it. And I thought, boy, I looked at the car. I said, man, it's almost, we were almost born. I cut the radio on, and as we was crossing the border out of uh, Oklahoma into Texas, and that northern part, Dan Rather came on, and Walter Conkrat was with him, said, Paul Crouch died about 15 minutes ago. And that was a sign. And I wasn't putting no judgment on him. The Lord just told me, see, he would have died anyway. But the Lord told me, said, and if that don't happen, y'all don't never believe nothing else I say. God has never failed to confirm this word. Amen. You hear what I'm telling you? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. God, he'll not fail his word. If you get back in there, and put your faith 
Read, get you a King James authorized version. Read it. The modern Bibles, it's got, even the new King James left out the last three verses of, of the book of Mark. Well, that was in the beginning. Mark wrote that back there. That was his Mark. That was the only book he wrote. He was one of the apostles. Let me tell you something. Stay with the word. If it says, Father, say Father. If it's the, if it don't say Holy Spirit, that's right. I won't get a Bible that that, that 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 says Holy Spirit all the way through it. I was what well, same thing. I don't care what it is. The Holy Ghost. When it says Holy Ghost, we need to say Holy Ghost. When it says holiness, we need to say holiness. When it says a woman not to, uh, a man not to put on that belong to woman, neither shall a, a woman not to wear that pertain to man, then a woman needs to not to be wearing man's clothes. Or even clothes that look like man. And neither shall a man put on a woman's clothes. And now the men's underclothes, most of them, if you don't uh, open them up, they like women panties, and you know it. It's abomination. You ain't going to take it out. Of the, but the devil is doing this out, Johnny. He's trying to make everybody. He's trying to make a, a, a abomination for the woman, abomination for the man. But God ain't going to change that. You can, you can fight. You can scrum. You can make excuses. But this Bible that we're preaching, it's been these apostles. They wrote this for 2,000 years ago. The book of Revelation was spoken by John the Revelator. Hallelujah. And the book of John. You ain't going to change that book of Revelation. You ain't going to change that book of Peter. You ain't going to change that book of Matthew. You ain't going to change that book of Luke. You ain't going to change that book of Mark. You ain't going to change that book of uh, of John. You ain't going to change the book of Acts. The, uh, the book of Acts, the way they said the book of Acts, it tells you, the history says, it's called the book of Acts, but tells you how, how the Holy Ghost acts. And if the Holy Ghost don't act like a book of Acts, you got the wrong thing. I said you got the wrong thing. It's time to lay down and if we want God to start backing us up confirming us we got to get back to the word that's when God backs me no matter where I go I stay with the word I said I stay with the word I've been locked up in cages in India treated like an animal but I didn't come to mind I was up in Algeria. They locked me up up there in a cage. Back in those days, I was in that part of the world. But I didn't come of my... They tried to make me deny any area of Jesus. Y'all can shoot me. You do what you want to. I'll never deny my Jesus. I said, I'll never deny my Jesus. The Bible said the time had come they'll cut your head off if you don't deny Jesus. We're living in that area in some other parts of the world. You better get you something here that if they cut your head, lay down on that chop block. I lay my head down on a chop block. I said, pop it. But sometimes that guy said, I'm not going to do it. He said, looked at me and said, you're probably right. He wanted me to pray for him. I prayed for him for days. I prayed for people. I got locked up down in one of them South American countries. Same way. I wouldn't bow before it was over. I was in a communist country over here in Russia. And they captured me. And that Russian uh, officer, she was a woman. And she, they had me locked up in a little room there. No lights, no nothing. She come out to unlock it and said, are you thirsty? And I started to say no. And, I, and some said, tell her, yeah, would you like some drink? And the Lord said, say yeah. And so she opened the door and had me, she said, if you promise you won't try to escape. Are you hungry? I'll feed you some. We got up there where she had something to eat. And she looked at me. She said, I heard you praying in there. 
She understood it. She said, I'm going to get you out of here. She ran and made me lay down in a suburban she had and carried me, risked her life, said, they may kill me, but said, uh, I want you to pray for me. said, I didn't believe in God, but hearing you praying and knowing that your life is at stake. Thank God. said, I want you to pray for me. I prayed with her, and she carried me uh, over there to the other side and told me to cross the border. I started running. I ain't stopped yet. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. I'm still running. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm praying this year, stand up in the devil's face. It'll stand up. The devil will try to make you. The Bible said, if you save your life, you lose it. But if you lose your life for the gospel and for my sake, you're saving. Ain't nothing worth losing your soul. In this life, there's only time you're going to have a chance to get your soul right. <laughs> this gospel of the kingdom. is going to stand. Peter said it's the power of God. Paul said it's the power of God. And Peter said, by his stripes, we get back to God to start healing us again. Back when I come into holiness, they, they didn't go to the doctor first. They went to call the elders. First. They didn't fight doctors. They'd done everything they could. Father, in Jesus' name, brought out our transgressions. God, I really didn't come out here to say all this, but I know, Lord, you, you want me to say this. Jesus, thank you for taking our burdens. Thank you for nailing our sins to the tree. Thank you that you take those lashes for our healing. God, I was praying this evening, we'll be on for three hours. God, across under them trees. Thank you, Lord, for that real estate. God, let me pray over on that side. Thank you, Jesus. Under them shade trees. Lord, I ask you to bless him. And if he ain't saved, save him. But we ask you, oh God, help us to come back to the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Lord, I believe strongly, Lord, in, in the scriptures. Lord, you said, do we do greatly here because we don't know them? Know the power of God. Help us. Lord, if there's any sin among us, let the sins be washed away. God, I really came out here to just pray for the sick, and I'm going to pray for them, those that are sick. Because, Lord, I got tonight and two more nights. Jesus, and we got that anointing. But, God, I thank you for being a good God. Right now, if you feel like you got any sins, that's standing in your way. You know, sometimes they just little old no harm things. Just ask God to forgive you. Man, God is a good God. He, you know, people judge one another, but God said He didn't come to judge us. He come to save us. In the name of Jesus. And if you, anybody, I'm going to pray for the sick. Anybody? So I'd like to stand in. For okay, okay. Father, right now, this is a, your grandson or your grandson. grandson right now. God, you see this grandson that's going over yonder, Lord, in that area where the war pots are boiling. God, I'm asking you to protect that grandson of hers that he won't be harmed, Lord. I know there's wars and rumors of wars. God, thank you, Jesus, for the power of God. See your word before him and protect him. And Lord, the men around him protect him. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. What's happening? If you, if you had it checked. I never did it checked. Okay, God's going to heal it. Lord, right now, Lord, you see. Lord, it what's trying to get in these elbows and her body. Lord, if it's some kind of uh, 
uh, arthritis or rheumatism. Or she ain't been to the doctor, but Lord, we know it's oppression. But the power of God heal these joints through the name of Jesus. Be made whole. Be healed. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that's going to be okay. You feel that? Praise God. She feels that. She has a problem with her neck. She has a problem with her neck. I got quite a few issues. My blood pressure has been shooting up and my neck, my shoulders. Father, right now, Lord, you see this blood pressure shooting up and it's in her neck and her shoulders. Thank you, Father. God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let the power of God move all this pain. You bore our grief, which is our pain. By the power, move it out. By the name of Jesus, be made well. In Jesus' name, I curse this thing. I failed it too. Thank God. I don't understand anything from my grandson. He's in foster care. You were? And he's in foster care. The state of Alabama has him. And I just want to stand in for him. Okay. Now. We'll give you a hand. Says, Father, she's standing for that grandson, Lord. You see where he's at. And Lord, I pray that you'll send your word to him. And God, if we don't ever, if he's saved, bless him. If he ain't saved, and if he's out there where trouble is, God, save him, protect him, and keep him. God, by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Give him a couple of them. One for the grandson. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. I want to be here for my... What now? Here for my blood pressure. Your blood pressure. Yes, Lord, I'm asking you to heal this dizziness. And this blood pressure. God, we know high blood pressure sometimes... God, it gets so high till it causes strokes. Yes. But I believe you, Lord, to heal him, that he won't have no stroke. Yes. That his blood will drop down to normal yes. and stay by the power of God. God, you said that by your stripes, and I believe this. God, I preach this. I believe that you took our infirmities, Jesus. I believe when you nailed our sins to the tree and turned your back, to the smiters it was for our salvation and our healing and God I pronounce a miracle by his stripes I decree and believe and command you to be healed oh hallelujah it's going to be okay thank you Jesus my, grand, my granddaughter in Alma Arkansas she has um, seizure since she 22 years ago she's in car wreck with my daughter that was killed and is that someone else just just the grand daughter huh and she had a real bad one in her short-term memory it was totally gone. father right now what would you hear well oh, i feel the anointing of god god we send this handkerchiefs or i send a miracle both of these requests through the power of god god your soul Beyond, your hand is not short. By your stripes, Jesus. Lord, you spoke to me. I didn't choose. Lord, you want to spoke to me about these handkerchiefs, like Paul and told me you'd give me what you give Paul, and I was to fill my pockets and give these hands. Lord, we've given millions of these out all over the world, Lord, and I'm asking, is these handkerchiefs, Lord, is that touch, let the power of God work special miracle there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now what the Bible said, God works special miracles by the hands of Paul, by the aprons. Paul had to work in his apron. I guess you cut it up. But also, almost everybody have handkerchiefs. What's happening? I'm losing my fingernails for one thing. And I, my, my order here is 85% stuck up. Thank you, Lord. God, these fingernails. Lord, open up this artery. When are you going back to the doctor? About, I've had another mouth. I decree when you go back, it's going to be opened up. 
you now. Fear not. Behold, by his stripes you are healed. Thank you, Jesus. God, make this order open. Thank God. Okay, I need a handkerchief. My, 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 my daughter's gay. I need to send it. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. He needs prayer. For, huh. I'm here for him, her, and her. Okay. He needs prayer for depression and anger. For what now? Oh, what? For being depressed and angry. Okay. Father, right now, Lord, this depression. Lord, you call it in the Bible oppressed by the devil. Lord, sometimes we don't understand it. And Lord, in, in the anger, God, I command right now the spirit to leave him. You foul spirit of angerness and depression. By the power of God, I cast you. Command devil to get your hands off of this young man. God changed his whole attributes and personality by the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. She has a lot of anger, too, and just drama, and just, she just needs some stuff broke off. I can't even get started. Father, right now, Lord, Lord, move this anger. Lord, I know you said be anger and sin not. To the people that's anger, but Lord, hardly anybody can get beyond that. And I'm asking for a miracle. Take this anger out of her. Give her a meek and a contrite spirit. Or she's going to grow up to be a young lady if you don't come soon. And God, she's going to need, God, she's going to need a transformation. Let the power of God. I bind this thing to trouble in Jesus' name. Glory. She has, I'm sorry, she has depression too and anger as well. She just can't control the depression. Father, right now, Lord, this force is warned against this little lady, Lord. God, I know, God, that you know how to get rid of our anger, make us be at peace and depressed. God, you call it oppress of the devil. Not that we're the devil, but the devil picks on people. And Satan, I command you to take this oppression off of her by the power of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I just brought them. I'm just happy to be here. That's all right. God, I bless her, Lord. God, you let the washing of the water and of the blood be with her, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And she's trying to put her faith in you, God, for her children and her by the power of God. God, give her a, a freshness of your spirit. God, let the baptism. Well, I feel the Holy Ghost. Right now, I feel the Holy Ghost entering into you. Receive the Holy Ghost. I, I go back to, in your early days. You had to experience the Holy Ghost. God giving it back to you. God giving it back to you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. That's the old PD and bad knees. What now? Some more problems too. What else? I got C O P D and bad knees. Oh, what hand me the got chair up there. Two or three props. Oh, oh, oh. Some of that stuff I don't know the codes. What is that other you got? Bad knees, that COPD, my bad lungs. Bad lungs, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Your knees. God, I pray for these old knees. These old cars. Uh, I feel something in there right then. Ooh. You feel that? Yeah. By the power of God. Be made whole. <laughs> Look, start dancing. You're healed. Yeah. Whoa. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, don't take God long to change tears, does it? Put your hands up. Man, I feel the Holy Ghost. Y'all hang in here. I may rabbit dance after this. Come on, let's pray. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to be dancing again. Thank you, Jesus. What's happening? 
going to be traveling thousands of miles with the tent. And I just need a okay. miracle in my hand. Father, right yes. now, God, I pray this, Lord, that you'll overshadow them. They're going to be out and traveling and ministering, and you're going to be ministering tents. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I, you know, tents is, is hard. These days, it's hard. You know, a lot of churches just don't give you but one or two days. I was, I, of course, I, the, the, they let me about anywhere. But it's, it's, you know, people are just out there. But, you know, God is saying these last days, He's moving in the highways. And the church ain't in the highways, are they? In the hedges. God, I pray. Who, 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 are you with her? Let me pray for you both, because God's going to bless y'all. And for her back. What, what size? And she needs, she needs healing. Yes, she well, God's going to heal that. How big is your tent? What? Y'all you, have a tent? Well, Just going in a, revivals. We got a small one, but we're going with somebody else. Okay, that's good. God, right now, heal this back. God, she ain't going to have no back surgery. You're giving it to her right now. Or you're taking these vertebrae, this disc. God, hallelujah. This disc, Lord, that's closing up by the power of God. God, I bless their ministry out there. God, is they traveling to get people saved. God, you said the labors are few. Give them power. 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 Power, Lord, let souls be saved. And woman, you are healed. Hallelujah. Woman, you are healed. Woman, you are healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, bless her, God. Give her your blessings. And Jesus, we pray, Lord, this summer you bless her. Thank the Lord. Glory. Huh? God, what do you got? Diabetes. God, right now, Lord, heal this back and diabetes, high blood pressure. Jesus, I'm asking a miracle of healing. Heal, God. Heal. Go down through the back and these vertebrae and these discs. The power of Jesus of dies. I command you to be healed. I feel God going into you. I feel the Holy Ghost going down your spine. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Is he with y'all? What you, you just want? You just want prayer? Huh? What you want the Lord to do for you? Huh? To let me see. Huh? To let me see. To let you see. To let him see better. Huh? To let him see better. Let him see better. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Then you want to wear glasses. God, Lord, his eyes, Lord, he's just a little feller. He's going to need glasses. And let him see without them perfectly. God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we ask, make his eyes just... 2020 perfect the power of God and it becomes so strong in Jesus name thank you all believe you're going to be okay thank God hallelujah what what any thing father in Jesus name huh what she say? Sugar. Sugar. Yeah. God, right now, Lord, heal this in the neck. This diabetes. I'm gonna ask God to give you a, a real restoration in the Holy Ghost. Somewhere it might have been 15, 20th, maybe way before than that. You had a real deep experience in the Lord, and God is going to give you a, a restoration. 
restore what you had many years ago. By the fire. By the fire. Fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, how ho, hey, hey. Be made whole. And the fire, let it burn in your bones. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord, right now, God. Thank you for these young people, Lord. Reaching out for prayer and reaching out for your help. God, we're living in a time that the, the young people of our day, Lord, has never gone through. Young people before like they are in these times. Jesus, bless her. God, watch over. Overshatter her. God, give her that, that intuition, of, intuition of Christ. Let her have that hungry to want to live for God. Lord, if she's committed sins, we remit them by the blood of Jesus. That the name of Jesus, that her name is recorded in the Lamb Book of Life. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Pray for uh, uh, stirs, uh, spirit of revival, and uh, healing, just, healing just give you a stirring up. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. God, oh God, Lord, He wants to you to stir Him up. Yes. God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, send Him forth like a mighty trump. Lord, sound alarm. You have a tent. I'm going to ask God to give you one. Father, right now, Lord, give him a, a tent to seat a few hundred people in equipment. Oh, hallelujah. Get out there on them highways. God, let the power of God, Lord, I decree it. God, give him about a 60 by 120 or something like that. And some equipment, Lord. And, and a truck. And about two or three hundred. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. About two or three hundred chairs. By the power of God. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, hallelujah. My Jesus. Somebody's here tonight. This ain't me. Somebody beside me. I feel the whole what's happening here. You had a stroke. Stroke. Hey, when did this happen? Thank you, and it bothers you speaking. Yes, sir. God, right now, Lord, she had a stroke. And it bothers her speaking. Lord, let her, it what got numb, Lord. I know a stroke's like something gets paralyzed. Lord, you open up her vocals and by the power of God. Thank you, Father, that by your stripes, there's no question in my heart that by your stripes, Jesus, oh, I feel the Lord. God, all oh, these vocals, Lord, let the Holy Ghost make them strong. Hallelujah. And I want the Lord to drop a little preaching on you. God, drop a little preaching on her. God, you said in these last days, these women's is going to get up. Hallelujah. And have that testimony of Jesus. By the power of God. God, give her a re-baptism. I feel the Lord re-baptizing you. He's re-baptizing you in the Holy Ghost. I feel the fire. And I feel the languages. I hear the, the Holy High Hey. Butorabatayo. Andorajo Boja. Santo. Yeah, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, you talk thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, you thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank praise him, praise him, praise him. I might get down here myself. I feel holy. Man, I feel so God sometimes I'm about to jump down here myself. What's happening? I had several heart attacks and um, seven heart attacks. Several, um, about five at the most, and um, hip surgery and back. Do you have a lot of pain in your family? Mm -hmm. 
You have, you have pain in your body? Yes, sir. You don't have no more. And Lord, I pray her blood pressure don't shoot up. God, let the power of God, Lord. Lord, I pray for her family. Jesus. God, send your word. Give a miracle. Give a miracle. Give a miracle. God, make a whole. Be healed. Be healed. I've got them anointed over there. In that little thing. Give me seven. I'm going to give you seven of these for seven family members. Is that about right? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> there they are. Let's praise the Lord. Now, she didn't tell me that. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. What's going on? What? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we ask you. God, to heal this blood pressure, high cholesterol. God, move all of this cholesterol out of these blood streams in the name of Jesus. God, you know how to do it, Lord. Make this blood just pure, no, no fat in it. And you know, people don't want cholesterol is. It's fat gets in your bloodstream, you know. So doctor, no, I'm no more than doctors know sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Lord taught me all this. And God's going to heal you. God's going to move all this out of your bloodstream. Hallelujah. By the power of God. Be made whole. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. What do you want? Huh? Okay. Father, right now, you heard this request. Lord, you bless him. God, let your most blessings be upon him, God. Jesus. Oh, God, if you tarry 10 years or 20 years, we don't know when you're coming, nobody. But, Lord, let him grow up in the fear and the admiration of the Lord out there in the future, God, to do something for God. God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I know you just don't plan for one generation. Lord, when you made the foundation of the world, you laid everything out, ordained, thousand years in the future. And I bless this young man by the power of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have a lot of problems with my stomach up in here and my lower back. Okay. Put your hand on the back back there. Put your hand across your stomach. Father, right now, <laughs> heal this lower back and this stomach. And what this is, Lord, if it's deterioration in a disc or the lower disc in this stomach, let the power of God. God, you said the power of the Lord and I feel it. By the power of the name of Jesus. Oh, I feel his healing. God, I lift this off of her that never bothers her again. Lord, heal this. I feel like it's in, a, in your back as a disc trying to rupture. But I command it to be fixed. In the name of Jesus. Be fixed right in the name of now. Jesus. God, touch in the name this disc, Jesus. this slip disc. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let the power of God Jesus. fix it. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to be okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Doctor, doctor, give me perfect care. I got a tumor here. They say that in my ear will kill me. It will uh -huh. kill me. God, right Do now, Lord. Jesus. Lord, they say he got a tumor in his ear. That if you don't have it cut out, it's gonna kill him. But he don't want to lose his hearing. Set your hand this away. God, you see this thing. God, go into this ear. Give him a miracle, Lord. God, he's been serving you a long time. Lord, I remember him more than a nearly a half a century ago. God. When you just real young. God give him a miracle in here. 
God give him a miracle in here. God give him a miracle. Well, oh, by the power of Jesus, I curse this tumor. Cause it to disintegrate. Thank you, Jesus. When are you going back to the doctor? They told me I don't have to go back a certain time. That's a good. Just get checked. Okay, you're going to be okay. What's happening? I have got something behind. Father, right now, there it is. God, there what this little punched out thing is. Like a wind, you know, they call it in old days. God, by the power of God, curse this thing from the inside. You feel that? Yes. That's the Spirit of God going in there disintegrating that thing. By the power of God. Hallelujah. surgery on both hips. Who had? My son's little dog. She don't have any hip sockets and her two knee caps are in the wrong place and she's got to have Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. It's a girl. That's Sophie. We brought her to get prayer. That's okay. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for Max. I got a we got a dog named Max and mm -hmm. I pray for dogs a lot of different times. I've had dogs save my life. Thank you, Jesus. But she don't have any hip sockets. She was born like that. And her kneecaps is in the wrong place. God, right now, Lord, I pray that you'll let these hips, Lord, these bones, let everything develop, Lord. She's having to, God, just walk on nothing back here. But Jesus, I remember when Someone shot my dog and she drug her stuff to the house and I came in from preaching on the street as a boy. And Mama told me to go out there and take my rifle and shoot her. But I went out there and I couldn't. And I prayed for her. And in 10 minutes she was at the back door, step at the back door, wanting something to eat. God, I'll never forget that as a boy. God, you're so good. Heal this dog, God. You heal old nail, Lord, and make her this dog well in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's the truth. You know, I, I had that dog that was actually what my hat my, my uncle had special dogs and but some other dog he got to his special dog and I was out there and they killing the puppies while they were born and this little old black puppy was there eyes were open and they said oh please don't give it to me and I took her and took eye drops and fed her milk and She was a little black and tan, tan dog. I don't know what the daddy was. And she went everywhere I did. I remember once I was picking cotton and a big rattlesnake was on the start. And she saw it and she jumped in the head and got that bite and killed that snake and kept me. And there's over a mile from home I would have died out there. And God brought her through that. Thank you, Jesus. I remember another time that someone was going to shoot me. And she jumped up and snapped at the arm and stopped it. She saved my life three times. Thank you, Jesus. And I look back and see that if I went out there and shot her that day, I might not be here. I'm telling you, God is God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God is God. Thank you, Lord. Well, what's happening, brother? Oh, you got a bed. I have some problems with my leg and my circulation. The circulation and what's happening else? I had to have a bypass done on my leg. Oh, oh you had a bypass. Mm -hmm. 
I'll come up a little closer here. Thank you, Lord. God. Lord, I pray for this leg you had to have a bypass, Lord, and I know that you're God. And I come to you, Jesus. Heal this leg. God, I feel you so real. God, I feel you so real. <laughs> Heal him. Don't let this leg get totally, miraculously well by the power of your own stripes, Jesus. You said the power of the Lord is present to heal, and I feel it. Let it make him whole by the power of Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, I believe that. I believe your legs going to get well. Thank you, Jesus. Well, that's one person who also um, had problems with kidneys um, on dialysis, too, and I just want you to pray. Yeah, help me to go through this. Lord, I'm bleeding. Okay. I'm told. Sure will. Bless your heart. Strengthen me. Father, right now, Lord, God, I ask you to bless her, Lord, and you see that request and grant it fully and even double portion plenty fully by the power of Jesus of Nathas. But your perfect will, in the name of Jesus, God grant her petition 100%, not a halfway, not part, but all the way what she's asked. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. That's a thing, bring her up that way. Yeah, up here. Yeah. Just come up here, it's okay. Just wait a minute there. What's happening? My head, half of my head hurts, and my eyes it hurts. My my bone, I left when I was little, and when I sit down, it's like it hurts so much. That's and your lower back. And the part, what part are you? That bone on the back. Okay, lay your hand back there. God, I pray for all this that she said to be healed. And, well, she went through something just about all her life here, and we know that. You're not the author of all this. You, you didn't come to destroy us, but to save us. You didn't come to, to cast us out, to, but to take us in. By your stripes, you took them for us. That wasn't just people living back under your time because they crucified you. Just in a few hours, like they lacerated you. So if that had been in your time, it wouldn't be no good. But it's happened for all generations. Make her totally well from all her complaints and all her needs in her body by the power of Jesus of Nazareth, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I believe everything's going to be okay. Praise God. Praise God. What's going on? I got a chronic lung, huh? a chronic condition. Uh, how does that work? Well, my oxygen levels stay low. Huh? My oxygen levels stay real low. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. God, right now, Lord, we ask you to, Lord, that we have to have oxygen and to live, and hers is low. God, I pray you bring it up to level. Let her breathe perfectly. God, I know doctors are doing their best, but every time they ain't right, by the power of God, make her whole. Heal her. Be healed in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Oh, I feel that. You feel that? Huh? You felt something going in there? It's going to be okay. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. We all need a little dose of that sometimes. <laughs> Not easy provoked. 
I usually take about anything, but when I do get, man, it's better get out of my way. Oh, Jesus. God, give her a spirit of humbleness, not be easy provoked. God, if people start to provoking or arguing, that she won't even talk back. God. 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 God in the name of Jesus. Be delivered. Be it unto you if you ever asked. Say it. Say it. Be it unto you, I feel the Holy Ghost. Be it as you have asked. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. Lord, heal this cold and Lord, it causes hoarseness in the voice. Heal it, Lord. God. God in the name of Jesus. Make her well, Lord. Heal her. You still play the organ? You know, she played for me. How many years she played for me? Several years. 1970. Yeah. How many years? That's about. It was about 40 something. Huh? 44. 34 years she played the organ. And she played in the 70s, 44. Yeah, and I tell you, uh, she saw more, probably forgot more miracles than y'all ever see. <laughs> I mean, this has been a miracle run all the way. You can find it anywhere out there, not because I'm nothing, because I don't know nothing else. You know, I didn't get all that education. My brothers did. They was all big shots. and I didn't get to go to school. When I did, they made fun of me, and I played hooky. And so, all over, the Lord protected me, too. What's happening, ma'am? Um, paralyzed from my waist down. Huh? So I'm paralyzed from my waist down. And, um, like, having a lot of nerve pain. Father, right now, Lord. Glory to God. By the power of the Holy Ghost, God. Heal these legs and knees and you'd see. Father, oh God, give her a healing and a miracle. Oh Jesus, I feel your presence. God, I feel your presence, Lord. You said by your stripes it's done. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel that you're going to be okay. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, I'm going to alter your, your work for the Lord, your ministry. Thank the Lord. I'll re you Saturday if you're here. Thank God. I see the hand of God's upon you. God, let her do something. Let her, Lord, somebody in the Bible asks you, let you finish their course. Somebody else want to finish their journey. Lord, let her yes. do what she wants to do for God. Yes, sir. By the power of God. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. You, What's going on? I got a son. Huh? I got a son. The Lord raised him up. Lord, hey. raise him up. And that's my daughter right there. Uh, yeah. That's my daughter. I know he gonna raise her. How old is he, your son? My son is 39. Huh? And my son is 39. But I didn't have you figure no more than 40, so. <laughs> Son's 39 and nothing. He's gonna heal his mind. Yes, Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Ooh, thank you. I'm gonna pray for your eyes, too. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank I tell you, when I got on 39, I got on hold. Jesus. Yes, Lord. By the power of God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. God, I bless her, Lord. Ooh. God, I bless her. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I said, hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, thank Jesus. You. Uh, you know what thank I feel? You. I feel a revival spirit getting in you. Ooh, thank you, Lord. God, I want you to you. do something for Jesus. Yes, God, reviving you again. Oh, yes, 
God's stirring up the Holy Ghost. He's stirring up a revival spirit. Oh, a revival spirit. 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 What's going on? I just want you to lay your hands on me. Just need your hands laid on me. <laughs> well, Bible said, don't do it suddenly, but I'm gonna do it suddenly. <laughs> hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. And we know the Bible said, don't do it suddenly. Suddenly. Fire. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. God put a double portion of fire in you. Jesus. Give her a resurrection. Oh God. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Lord, I leave here. God help her. And God help her companion out to be when we leave here. I'm gonna leave shouting. Let this whole place resurrect this place, Lord. Resurrect revive. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Oh, don't you love the Lord? My Jesus, my Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give me, you got three of them. Let me have them. Praise God. Praise God. Take one of that. Tie it on your bed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel it. Glory. Cold. You caught a cold? <laughs> well, you know, I ain't going to catch nothing myself. Some people, they catch all this stuff. God, I pray you this old cold she's caught. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Curse this old cold. Thank you, Jesus. God imparted something in my life through your ministry years ago, and I just need another touch. For behold, <laughs> says the Lord, I, I've chosen you. Even when you was in your middle teens, called you to preach my gospel. Behold, you've gone through the trial of your faith. For the day of the Lord is upon you in a mighty spirit. And I revive you again. And I give you a double portion of a call of God. Fear not. Go and proclaim you deliverance to the captive. Recover some sights to the blind. Set it liberty them that are bruised. Lord, I be with you. And I see a Lord giving you a tent. Oh, hallelujah. A tent. It's going to be about a 60 by 90 or more. By the power of God. Tie that on the poles. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hand me three more of those things right there. Praise God. I want you to pray for me. Um, I was told a couple of years ago that in a prayer line that the Lord was going to give me a ministry. And I've already got up in Brother Kim's church and uh, spoke the word. I'm not a preacher, but I feel like I'm in called to teach. And okay. I've done it twice. And Father, I'm Lord, you grant this, Lord. God, in Jesus' name, she just wants to find her place in the ministry. God, you told her several years ago she got something, a ministry ahead. God, it's time and high time for the power of God. For the power of God. For the, oh, feel it. Your day has come. Hallelujah. Oh, pray. Praise Him, everybody. Reach over and say somebody that has the name ain't Walker and tell them the devil and Tom Walker is a liar. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's praise him, will you? I feel the Lord. I feel the liberty. Thank you, Jesus. I don't usually do this, but I need some personal money. I need about five people to give me $100 for some personal things. I do not touch the offering. God will bless you if you got $100 if you help us. And the Lord knows that, that, that He'll bless you. Thank you, Jesus. If you'll do that, here's two of them. Thank you, Jesus.